In this tutorial, we are going to talk about layouts and viewports. In the bottom of the software, you can see some layouts button. Now I will show you how to set up layouts before printing the design. First, right-click layout one button and select rename to change its name. And then click the add icon in the right to add a new layout. If you want to delete any layout, just right-click on it and select Delete option. If you want to insert a title block for layout, either you have the block reference in your drawing or have saved block file in your PC. Then execute the Insert command and select the title block you prefer. Check Specify on-screen options, set the skill values, and click OK. Pick an insertion point, and a setting window pops up, which asks you to provide or answer the attribute promotes. So just import the information and click OK. Now those values are taught or populated into the title block attributes. Next, we will insert a viewport. Click view button in menu bar and select viewport option, one viewport. Then add the viewport by specifying to corner points. Actually, you can add more viewports in one layout. Just click view button and select viewport option, for example, four viewports. Then follow the promotes in cut and add viewports. In addition, you can also add some viewports in model mode. Just import viewport and press enter. Select the purple arrangement option and click OK. Then let's go back to layout mode. Double clicking the viewport frame, its property spindle will pop up. Here you can modify the standard scale of the viewport. You will notice there is an option called Display Lock. When setting No, double-clicking inside the viewport, you will be able to zoom and pan the objects in the viewport. Double-clicking outside the viewport, and again select the viewport frame. This time set Display Lock to Yes. Double-clicking again inside the viewport, you can see that I can't inadvertently change its scale. As I zoom or pan, is zooming or paying the entire paper. Now let's modify an existing viewport. Simply selecting the viewport and adjust the frame by dragging the grids. And then select and move the viewport. Set the display lock to no and double clicking inside viewport to activate. Then you can adjust the view freely. Next, draw a circle here and then click view button in the menu. Select Viewport, Objects option, and select the circle to convert it to a viewport. If you don't want to show some particular layers in this viewport, you just need to open Layer drop-down list and click Freeze or Turn off K. But you will notice that they are still visible in other viewports. 